your daily weather report. Today is December 13th, 3050, and a heavy blizzard is headed our way from the north. We are expecting around winds of up to 25 miles per hour and snow of up to 12 inches. We advise you to stay indoors, and we have calculated that most of New York will lose power, unfortunately. We'll give you an update later on. 30 minute lunch break. 30 minute lunch break. Hey chicken. How many times do I have to tell you? My name is Charles. Whatever. Chicken, chicken, we need to the garage. Okay, gotta go. Bye. Uh, we're gonna try. Yeah, here. Uh, hey Frank, what's up? It's been a while. Paul, it's been 24 hours. 24 hours, 24 days, same thing. You know, sometimes I just don't get you. At least say hi to me. Don't back sass me. I say hi when I want to. Hello, Frank. How's the weather? Oh, oh, that was an eventful day. Yep. What a pretty view, huh? Yeah, it kind of looks like another galaxy. Well, guys, gotta go. Hey, see ya. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah, Frank, catch. Wait, what? Ah, oh. oh, he just got served. All right, late. later, chicken. Alright, guys, see ya, I gotta go. Bye, guys. Are you excited to open the time capsule tomorrow? Oh, yeah, I can't wait to see what goodies are stashed for me. Us. I mean, us. That's what I thought you said. Later. Gotta go. Me too. Okay, guys, we're gathered here today to open the time capsule that the NASA astronauts gave to us in 2016. Okay, let's see what's inside here. What? Only papers? Where is the candy? Oh my gosh. Oh, there they are. I call the Snickers! I said I call the Snickers! I said I call the Snickers! Come on, come on the Milky Way! Dear fellow NASA scientists, I'm informing you that there is another galaxy close by called Andromeda, and it's heading towards the Milky Way very fast. No one here believes me, but I am certain it will collide with the Milky Way, and I have calculated it will take about 30 days by the time you open this time capsule. The results will be devastating. What a pretty view, huh? Yeah, it kind of looks like another galaxy. Galaxy. We're gonna die. Snickers now. Talk later. Yo, man, you're not you when you're hungry. Guys, if that thing is a real galaxy, I think it's time for a conference meeting. This USB from the time capsule holds some valuable information. Let's see what they got. Frank, whenever you're ready. Ooh. Okay, um, well. If this is true, Andromeda is a galaxy much bigger than ours. It's been on its way to the Milky Way since the 2000s, but there was never enough evidence to support the fact that it was actually going to hit us. People must have forgotten about it, but a scientist was smart enough to include it in the time capsule. Great point, chicken. My name is, you know what? I'm done. Wait, yo, man, chicken, I thought you wanted a race. Fine. Relax, we got more. But it was the last dumb dumb. <laughs> guys, guys, stop. Listen to the presentation. Fine. Fine. <sighs> Thank God. <laughs> Once Andromeda hits us, planets, stars, and entire solar systems will go haywire. They will be crashing into everything. This might be our end. Dude, what are you talking about, man? I'm saying that if another celestial body crashes into ours, our entire planet might smash into a million pieces. And we only have 30 days to prepare. What are we waiting for? We don't got all month. Douglas, man, we need to get to work. All right, guys, let's brainstorm. We need to broadcast this information out to the world. We have the best broadcasting system ever known to humanity. This is the easy part. You're right. The hard part is telling people what to do in this situation. Alright, let's worry about that later. We have a world to save. Okay, 
Lights, camera, action. The time capsule has told us some frightening information. Apparently, our huge neighboring galaxy, Andromeda, is expected to collide with the Milky Way in just a few days. The collision will be devastating, and unfortunately, we do not have a solution to the problem right now. But a broadcast on that will probably be held out later today. Thank you, and good afternoon. <sighs> Guys, I'm worried. Don't be. We have plenty of time. What the heck was that? Man, we were so dumb to wrong. Coming in 30 days, it's here. Now. Huh? Huh? What the heck was that? Guys, did you see that plane outside? Um. Well, her ears were ringing. A plane got flung into the air like it was getting sucked up by something. It was probably just your imagination. Yeah, man, it wasn't. No, I know what I saw. Chicken, we were stunned by something. You guys never listen to me, and you call me a name? That doesn't even make sense. You guys are real idiots. Well, if you say so. Just take a second. What could have sucked up a plane like that? Man, I think I know it. Uh, Frank, pull up uh, 50577. Got it. A black hole? There's no way. Hey, 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 hey. hold up. How are black holes created? Well, when a really large star collapses in on itself during death, it can become a black hole. That's it. Stars and planets have been going haywire. Two really large stars must have crashed into each other. And that's when we went outside, our ears were ringing. There was a huge galactic explosion. It all makes sense now. So, uh, how do we stop a black hole? Anybody think of that? Well, everyone's gotta be thinking at the same time. Um, hmm. no. Maybe we could fly a spaceship into the air to take a look at the black hole. Great then idea, that's good. All right. I'll that's go good. fire one up. Let's roll out. Yo, Paul, Chicken told me that we should go look at the spaceship. It's ready. That's awesome. Oh, hey guys. I managed to fix up this bad boy. Oh, wow. Being an <laughs> astronaut for a while. I guess this will be one of the best I fly in. So, we got a meteorologist, a forecast director, two astronauts, and a spaceship engineer, but no pilot. So, um, how exactly are we going to get up there? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to meet our new pilot. Sup dudes, my name is Stevenson, but you can call me Stevenson. Wait, what? Hey, what's up? Hey man, cool glasses. Thanks, I found them floating in space. Okay boys, we have a black hole to stop. Mm -hmm. Once we get into space, Charles will not contact NASA and he'll be like, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who put you in charge? Yeah, I'm the captain. Whoa, you just got here. You fly us there and back, that's it. I'm offended. I've been training my whole life. I should get more recognition than this. But not more than me. I've been in Astra longer than you can remember. Oh, please. No, 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 no. I'm the leader of HQ. If it's anyone, it's going to be me. Guys, guys, no one is the leader, okay? Hey, 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 hey. Exactly, he's right. So I should be captain. Okay. Wow. Yeah. This is a nice. Wait, insane. where's our pilot? Hey, I remember I knocked him out, so um, I'll just drive, whatever. Alright, no. <laughs> you good, man? Um, yeah, it's just that this is my second time going to space and well, the first time I had an anxiety attack and they had to stop the expedition. Well, you know, don't worry, man. Think of it as an adventure of a lifetime. Try to have some fun. All right. 
I can do this. Okay, here we go. In three, two. Oh, give me that. Ready, guys? Um, okay. yeah, sure. Take off in five, four, three, two, one. So this is a very dangerous mission, so you have to be, listen very carefully. Got it. You can't get more than 3,000 miles away from the ship, because at that point the black hole will just suck you in and detach you from the ship. Alright, now just be careful. Just know I'll be with you the entire time. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, you're all set to go. Okay. We all wait up. Oh, good. This. I feel smaller. Well, this is cool. We're just in space. All right, guys, you're doing great. Just keep on going. Um, hello, hello. This is Director Douglas here from the SS50. Um, uh, everything seems to be going well so far. Uh, no collision yet. That's great news. Did you guys eat the brownies I baked for you? Um, well, how do I put it this way? Um, hold on, hold on. Your brownies? I baked them! People, you baked them together, remember? Um, guys, can we focus? Well, excuse me. Don't get into our conversation. Rude. I'm just trying to help. Shut up! Um, guys, I have a situation, uh, like, now. I am going to rip your head off! You guys are useless! I miss Paul! Get out of there! What is it? It's a meteor shower! It's coming right toward us! Uh... That meteor's gonna hit them! Don't worry, man. I got this. Second. Don't touch it! At this point, the slightest touch could cause it to go off. It 
We have to throw the freezer out the door. Oh man, all the ice cream's in there. Come on, Douglas. Help me throw it out the door. Come on, quick. Get him on. Keep on moving. Oh, don't snap. Our ship is kind of broken, so you mind giving us a ride? Of course not. Hop on board. Yeah! Woo! We are gathered here today to congratulate these five brave men who saved us from what could have been the end of humanity. We are truly thankful. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Woo, we did it, man! Yeah. We couldn't have done it without each other. I gotta say, that was actually pretty fun. True. So what do we do now? Go back to being boring NASA scientists? Well, yeah, until the next adventure, that is. All right, uh, see you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Wait, no, 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 this is my way. Yeah, because... Right no.